Well, hey, everybody out there, it's Embrace the Matrix, and this is, as you would have expected, the newest video released painting. And uh, it's pretty loud. It's going to be a pretty loud painting. It's going to be very bright. I, I had a bunch of orange, neon, and... I just wanted to use it up and this is what uh, happened but hold on What you just experienced was a pouring simulation, obviously. <clears throat> I thought I had started my camera and realized that I didn't. So I just poured everything and then decided to check my camera and realize it didn't. So I had to do somewhat of a simulation, but I didn't want you to think that I was actually pouring paint. So I had to put the, you know, the little words on there, pouring simulation. I, it probably for legal reasons or something. If, if I didn't do it and you thought I actually poured paint, you might, um, you know, you might be upset or something. I don't know. You might, you know, not like me anymore if you feel like I'm being dishonest. So I didn't want you to think that. So, yeah, as you can see, this is uh, what we're doing. And no speed ups in this one. It's just real time. It's not very long. It's only like a 10 minute video. So, but... I have kind of been like just a little silent on the social media side of things recently and I thought I'd just kind of sort of maybe kind of fill you in on a couple things but maybe not maybe I'll just talk to you um, but yeah things have been a little hectic a little crazy somewhat unexpected issues um, in my personal life which has unfortunately uh, pulled me away from the creative side of things that I choose to uh, take great pleasure in uh, for relaxation and enjoyment. But um, <clears throat> unfortunately, yes, real life must come first and real life issues must come first. So, yeah, so there's just been some things and it, again, it's, you know, you don't really need to know the specifics and it's not that I'm not being open and honest with you because you know I am but it is personal so um, but yeah things have been crazy with work and our personal lives and everything else but nonetheless there's uh, there's some uh, you know there's some shining hope of things good things to come uh, last year was great. We had a wonderful 2016. Our 2017 just has not started out as wonderful, as as complete, you know, as a whole as as hope. There's been a, there's certainly been a lot more um, negative uh, things than positive, you know. So, but we're working to eliminate some of these negatives, and we are, like I said, in the process. Of, of things turning around and it's wonderful and I think the the key factor is no matter what goes on in your life if you actually enjoy your life if you actually enjoy what you're what you do in your life then it's worth putting forth the effort to push on another day so yeah Oh, and by the way, I know you're probably wondering, what was I squirting in those little white dots? Um, maybe you weren't. And if you weren't, then cool, I'm not going to tell you. Um, so anyways. All right, so maybe some of you out there were. Um, actually, I just dropped, you know, white white dots in, in on top, obviously. And then I had an eyedropper, like for, like, dry eyes visine or whatever and it was empty so I put uh, rubbing alcohol in it so I can drop one single solitary drop and I thought I would put a drop on each uh, white dot before I used my 
what I'm now calling my, uh, I don't, you know what? I don't even know what I'm calling it. I see I'm full of shit. Cause I don't even know. What I was going to say stick technique, but that sounds pretty stupid. Um, sounds more like a jerk off term. Uh, I don't know where I just kind of like make little lines with the paint kind of draw things out. But anyways, I put alcohol in it cause I wanted to see if that would react you know, do something, I don't know, and it kind of did, but nothing too crazy, again, this is just because I was eliminating some extra paint I had laying around that I didn't really have space for, and I was like, well, you know, I had a little stint with neons for a moment, and I'm kind of past it now, so I'm moving onward and upward, so to speak, but this is one I did a while ago, maybe a month ago, Um, it's been sitting here, I think, I actually like it, I haven't come up with the title yet, so, Obviously, if you're seeing a post on YouTube, then I've come up with one. But it's, what day is it? It's a day after St. Patrick's Day. So it's the 18th of March, roughly 2.23 p.m. Or more accurately, 2.23 p.m. Um, yeah. Uh, we're in uh, northeastern Ohio. And it's kind of cold out. There's some snow out. And the weather's been so up and down. It's been ridiculous. One day it's 70. Next day it's 30 and snow. And and I'm not even being dramatic. It's literally what it's like. It's just, we get dumped on for snow. It stays snowy for three days. And then it's 70 degrees for like a day or two. And then we're back to cold and freezing and maybe snow. And they say global warming's a hoax. Who knows? I don't know. You can't really tell because it's back and forth. So it sounds like to me, global warming is not necessarily a hoax, but it sounds like global warming is drunk or something. It's been drinking something because it's, you can't figure out what it wants to be cold or warm or whatever. So, yeah. So I don't know. The idea sort of behind this thing, I guess, was um, like, I don't know, just those little things are like stars or little creatures, or little amoebas, or whatever you want to call it, uh, little sentinels, I don't know, so, I don't know, I haven't thought of, at this particular moment in time, 2.24 p.m., 3.18, 2017, I don't have a title for this one, um, I'd say, throw some suggestions out here, but by the time I post it, I, already, I will have come up with something, it will have come to me like a dream, I don't know, so anyways, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you all survive St. Patrick's Day. I did nothing for St. Patrick's Day. I've kind of been in a sort of self-loathing kind of semi-dark place. And um, yeah, so I'm, I, I'm bound and determined to get utilize this weekend to claw my way out of it, <laughs> so to speak. So yeah, come Monday we'll be a little more clear-headed and and moving forward with things but right now it's yeah it's it's what i put so eloquently referred to as scrambled egg brain (laughs) yeah that's that's a good way to describe it i think just like scrambling okay then here's my epiphany with this one i was like bam like emerald bam black dot in the center we're going to make a nice big star amoeba sentinel thingy, whatever. And yeah, it looked, it turned out pretty neat actually when it dried. Obviously, you know, that's the thing. Um, if so, a lot of you look at my stuff and then you see like the painting and then you see my still shots I take right after. And then you see the final picture, which is after it's dried, then it looks obviously darker not as vibrant that's just the way acrylic paint is you know it's it kind of blows because when they're wet looking like this and then you get close-up photos it looks so cool um like here's here starts the photos but yeah it's what happens and even all i ever do when i take my photos and i adjust them all i adjust is like contrast so it, it gives it a darker look but it gives it the look um, that it's going to have once I varnish it. So like when you varnish them, they tend to bring the colors back out. See how like the center of those, it's kind of cool, weird, like sections and stuff. I, I, you know, just, I like that kind of stuff. Like 
each there's like orange centers i don't know i get really weird with my stuff sometimes and look at it and pick out the little itty bitty kind of nuances with it and that's what i like like those thin lines i love those like thin paint lines that you can get i just love that kind of stuff so um yeah that's it and we still don't have a title i haven't thought of one but here's the finished one and you see it does it's a little darker and it's a little you know but it's still when you when you look at it it's it's very bright on a wall it'll really shine on a white wall and it will be for sale so if you're interested you know where to find me thanks for listening guys and uh hope you're all doing great continue being awesome later <laughs>